How's everybody doing? Good. How are you, Mikey? Doing well, Doug. Good to see you. Good to see you. What's going on, Mikey? Thanks for joining. How's it going, man? Good. Uh, yeah, if everybody could just mute their lines. I think we got a couple of lines open right now, but unless you're asking a question, please mute your line, and we will go ahead and get started with questions for Mikey. Mikey, I was wondering if you could explain to us um, – how you and the winger ahead of you are supposed to, to interact in Heinz's system. How, how are y'all supposed to work together? Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's actually a triangle, not just me and the winger, but it's me, the winger, and the eight in there. So it's a little triangle. Um, and he wants us to basically move together. Um, so if the winger comes inside, um, the eight will come outside and I'll go higher. Or if the winger stays wide, the eight will go higher and I come inside. It's just like a, a nice flow between the three of us. Um, and we're getting, we're getting used to it. We're getting more chemistry with it and it's starting to look pretty good. Is it similar to what Tata asked y'all to do or is it a different, different concept? Um, it's a little bit different. Um, pretty much with Tata, it was the outside back was just up and down, just um, bombing on, just in a straight line, but with, 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 uh, Heinz, since you come inside more, you could be, at, you can be in an eight role. You could be as a winger. You can be as a 10 role. Like you, you're kind of just moving around in that triangle. So it's a little more thinking and a little bit more, I like to call it kind of like a chess match. Kind of you're playing like a chess match with your, in that triangle against the other three guys. So <clears throat> it's pretty fun. Hey Mikey, how's it going, man? Been a long time since we've spoken. Up, Good, man? man. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, this is your third, Gabrielle's your third South American coach that you've had in MLS. You've yeah. become a bit of an expert on the coaching culture uh, in South America. How would you describe the experience so far that you've had in MLS under these three coaches, Alonzo, Tata, and now Heinze? Um, Yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, I've been able to learn so much from all three of them. They're both very different coaches, um, but also have some similarities. So um, I've just really appreciated learning from all three of them and I'm very grateful and, uh, I should probably be pretty fluent in Spanish by now. <laughs> You're going to test you on that. Yeah, I, I can understand it now. I'm, I'm, I still have trouble with the verbs, but, <laughs> um, and then two questions for me, just the third, the third man concept that you're describing, um, it, it's something that Heinz has done, you know, in his last three jobs. And you, you just said that the team is kind of starting to embrace it. How, how close are you guys to feeling confident about playing that way in a very meaningful match in, in just a week? Yeah, no, I think we, we've been working on it now for a couple of months, and I, I think we got it down uh, pretty well. Um, with each team you play against, they play a different system, so you have to kind of rotate the triangle around or, or rotate yourselves around, but – I think with these preseason games we've played, they've played different system each time. So it's been good to, to play in those games, watch video, learn from them. And I think we're, I think we're ready. I think we're, I think this last game um, we played, the movement was there, the chances were there. And I, I think, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be pretty good going into April 6th. And then the last one for me, just the tact, perhaps you can touch on tactics too, but what, in your opinion, has changed from the 2019 prep for CCL and this preparation now that the team is going through? Um, do you feel more prepared? Is it, is it, is it, are there similarities from that month that you guys kind of rushed through uh, before going to Costa Rica? What do you think, are there any similarities between 19 and 21? Do you guys feel better about the, the preparation you've gone through? Um, I think we were prepared for 2019, but I think we're even more prepared for, for this one. Um, we were able to come in pretty, pretty early and the guys came in here voluntarily together pretty early. So we were able to mesh well together. And once uh, coach took over, um, <clears throat> we've been doing a lot of two a days, a lot of sessions, a lot of video, a lot of learning. So I'm, I'm, I'm confident going into April 6th. I think we're, I think we're ready. Thank you, man. Thank you. Um, well, Mikey, uh, 
you know, this is an important year for the team. It, it does not want a repeat of last season. Um, from afar, since you were playing for Inter Miami, what did you see that was going on with Atlanta United last season? Um, yeah, it, it didn't uh, didn't look very very good what was going on. Um, we had three very good years, um, and then last year was a bit of an off year. Uh, but I think uh, I think the 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 club needed a new a new leader a new direction to go in and uh and we got that so i think the direction is very good that we're going in um i think we we're just getting started now but i think it's 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 looking really good already and uh excited to get the season started and get the meaningful games uh going Hey, let me follow up on that on that question by Doug. What do you take away from your time at Inter Miami? Like, what what perhaps it was a tough year for you guys too. I mean, it was a really tough year just for the organization. The way that launch went um, right when COVID kind of came in, and then uh, the team struggled. But you're, you guys were kind of just fighting in every game. You still make the playoffs, but for a franchise like that that came in really ambitiously, it was sort of a, dif- a really disappointing season. What do you take away coming back to Atlanta? And, and what you just mentioned that this club also needs to to get back up. Yeah, I mean, last year was was crazy for everybody with the COVID and with the stop and go season with with our first year in Miami. With everything it was a it was a crazy year. Um, what I learned was I've I've known this, but really put it into action last year was no matter what's going on off the field, no matter what's going on, you got to show up and you got to do your job. You got to, no matter the circumstances, no matter the environment, no matter what the situation is, you got to block all that out of your head. When you stop, step across the lines, you just, you just got to play and perform. And I learned that last year um, a little more. I already knew that, but I, I it, it got re- re-emphasized last year. And yeah, it just, it made me a little bit, um, stronger mentally, I guess. Um, and yeah, just anytime, anytime you get the chance to play, you just got to perform. Doug, you want to ping pong back and forth? I mean, is, is anyone else going to ask anything? If not, I'll keep going. Yeah, go ahead. And then I'll ask another. Um, Talk about the Yates on the team. You said that you have to form a triangle with them. Um, talk about how y'all are working together. Uh, you're familiar with, with one of the guys already. But the chemistry that is there, how is it being developed? Is it just practice? Is it video sessions? Or? Yeah, so um, Coach does a really good job of mixing um, the group throughout the week, throughout the games, throughout um, training sessions. Uh, so you get to work with – each and every eight uh, to build chemistry with them. Um, so yeah, it's been good working with all of them. Um, like Barco, I, I know Barco very well. It's been good working with him, working with uh, Emerson, uh, Wolfie, um, all these guys. It's, it's good to work with different ones because during the season, it's a long season and uh, different guys are going to be in different roles. And it's good. I, I, I really like being able to play with different guys every day and build that chemistry so that when they're thrown into the game, it's not like you're playing with the guy for the first time. So it's, it's good that I I've enjoyed and I like that everybody's building chemistry together. Mikey, everybody, and even you guys out on the team, you know, everyone kind of loves George Bell. They want to see him perform. They want to see him grow and develop, um, you know, bright future talented player. But he's in your spot. I'm assuming there is healthy competition there. Um, there's there should be competition throughout the pitch. But could you talk about that? Um, you know, personally, I thought you looked really good against Charleston. We haven't seen a lot, um, but you looked really fluid, uh, really tidy in the ball. What? How was that going? I mean, I'm sure you want to start too. Um. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, yeah, George is like basically like a little brother to me. Um, so I, I want him to get better. I want him to have an amazing career. Um, I'm, I, I think he's a great player. Um, we're just trying to help each other uh, improve, help each other learn. Um, and hopefully we can both be successful. Um, yeah, it's a very healthy competition. 
Um, and whoever coach decides to put on that day, uh, if it's him, I'll support him 100%. And if it's me, I'm sure he'll support me 100%. So, Hey, Jurgen, uh, appreciate you doing this. We Hello, were just huh? talking to Mikey um, about how the, the wingers and the fullback and the eight interact within Heinz's system. And I was curious if you could explain your role within that triangle, please. Yeah, it's going to be very positive for me for starting to, to get more involved in the game. Uh, offensively and defensively, I think that's that's very good for me. I have been working a lot in, in that team uh, with, with Coach Heinze uh, after also the, the, the sessions uh, with him personally to understand very good the system because with him is a lot of tactics. If, how do you say, if the eight goals, someone has to cover his spot. So it's a lot of information. And so I'm trying to do my best in, in the field and outside to understand perfectly the, his system. And we have a game in one week, so we have to do it the, the fastest we can to understand perfectly the, 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 the things he wants me to do in the field. I'll ask in Spanish. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> ¿Qué tal, Jürgen? ¿Cómo vas? ¿Cómo bien, anda? bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Muy bien, gracias. Eh, mira, ¿cómo, cómo, has, ¿cómo te has sentido? Es la pregunta que te, te hicimos muchas veces el año pasado, pero sabiendo que habías venido sin, sin jugar mucho, fuiste muy eh, público con eso. ¿Ya te sentís 100%? ¿Te sentís titular? Sí, me siento muy bien físicamente, titular no, eh, la verdad es que hay mucha competencia, hay muchos jugadores en mi posición con grandes cualidades, así que va a ser un, un torneo eh, bastante difícil en el aspecto de la competencia, eh, en todos los equipos debe haber, eh, entonces hay que trabajar mucho para poder estar en el cuadro titular, eh, me siento muy bien físicamente, esta pretemporada me ayudó mucho, el, el estilo de trabajo y el estilo de juego de, de, de este nuevo cuerpo técnico me ha ayudado mucho a, a, a esforzarme al 100% y poder estar en, en, la, en la máxima de mis capacidades. ¿Y qué fue lo que te ayudó del, de la pretemporada? O sea, ¿qué, qué tipo de ejercicios o qué, qué fue lo que cambió esta dinámica tuya físicamente? Pues mucho el tema aeróbico, eh, el mucho correr, ida y vuelta, eh, el que los entrenamientos del profe sean muy intensos, eh, el, el que muchos de los trabajos que hace eh, son con balón, todo ese tipo de aspectos me dio mucho en lo aeróbico y obviamente en lo técnico, como les comenté el año pasado con el tema de, de, de Tigres, que, que, que cuando di la noticia perdí regularidad, no jugaba, luego paré dos meses en lo que estaba el MLS is back, y bueno, después me pude integrar sin una pretemporada en forma. Me, me costó un poco en los partidos al minuto 60, 70, ya, ya no podía con las piernas. Ahora esta pretemporada la he hecho completa y me he sentido muy bien. Entonces creo que, eh, que, que no hay ninguna excusa, que, que tengo todo por delante para hacer una gran temporada y, y ganarme un puesto, ¿no? Porque hay que trabajar para eso. Yo, yo no me siento titular ni nada de eso. Uno tiene que trabajar para ganarse el lugar. Entonces no será la excepción conmigo, trabajaré para poder estar ahí. You're going to, in the um, training exercise against Charleston and then in the game uh, on Sunday against Birmingham, one thing I've noticed is that when the wingers get the ball, either you or, or Cho or whoever happens to be in, y'all, you hold on to it and, it and you start to kind of, you're looking for points of attack. Is that part of what Heinz wants y'all to do? Not the one touch passing, but kind of hold it, figure out what's going on, and then attack. Well, the the first thing the uh, the coach has uh, told us is is when you have the ball in the in the side channels to to do the one versus one, is the one versus one uh, attack the 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 fullback and try to 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 cross to find a a, a partner so. In that team, when we are in, in, in the final zone, uh, he likes that the wingers go, be, a, be aggressive to, to try to find uh, the, the goal. So that's what he wants of us. And when the ball is on the other side, he also wants that the winger stays very wide. So when it goes the other side, the, the ball, you have one versus one. So 
he likes to play a lot with the, the wings very, very open. And for me, that class of uh, that type of game, it's very, very, very good. So I'm enjoying this, this new era with, with a great coach, with a great ex-football player. So he knows how, how we feel and what we want, what we need. Hi, Jurgen. Um, you came in the middle of last year, so you have a sort of a unique, unique perspective since it was sort of a down year and Atlanta is known for having such a great uh, history in their three to three years. Um, I'm curious uh, your first impressions of uh, if, if Joseph Martinez's influence on the squad from, you know, from last year to this year, if there's a noticeable, noticeable difference between, between the attitude of the team when he's there and when he's not there. Yeah, everyone knows that Joseph is a, is a very part, uh, important part of, of the team in all kind of ways in the in the locker room with his jerarchia, uh, como se dice? With his experience, he he's uh, one of the of the best players in MLS, the best scorer. So having him in the field is uh, of course very positive for for all the group. Uh, for all the the mentality of the group, and he's he's seen very very good after one year of a uh, of an injury, he's he's starting to to recover his 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 football, and we see him very confident and with uh, with that uh, effort to 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 be in his level again. Jürgen, con quién estás compitiendo en esa banda derecha? Eh, pues está, está, le gusta jugar mucho con los extremos a perfil cruzado. Eh, claro. está, está Jake ahí. Eh, del otro lado está Marcelino que lo está poniendo a perfil cruzado. Está Eric, está Chol. Entonces, bueno, hay, hay cinco o seis extremos que, que, que nos estamos disputando dos puestos. Y bueno, el que mejor esté físicamente, el que mejor esté en los entrenamientos, el que mejor haga las cosas tendrá la posibilidad de jugar. Y, y como te digo, es, es competencia sana. Eh, uno siempre tiene que Que, que sentir ese tipo de, de presión del compañero para no relajarse y dar lo mejor de sí. Entonces, bueno, eh, le toque al que le toque estar, hacerlo de la mejor forma y siempre ver por el beneficio del equipo. ¿Y tú cómo te sientes de perfil cambiado? Eh, me imagino que... No, perfil... Soy el único de todos los extremos que estoy jugando en mi natural. Ah, bueno. Pues sabe que, que, bueno, que es donde más como me siento sí. y, y donde pues siempre he jugado. Eh, si me pusieran, como lo he dicho, donde me pongan, yo voy a dar lo mejor de mí. Pero sí, de todos los extremos, soy el único que está jugando en su perfil natural. Listo. Have, uh, you're going to have y'all started to look at uh, your opponent in the Champions League, Ala Wilhense. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, and what do they do well? Yes, yes. Uh, we start looking uh, a lot of videos of them. We start in the defensive part. To, to see which uh, spots uh, are the weakest one. So where, where can we attack? Uh, with the pass of the days, we will still see videos in the offensive part, in the middle part, and the tactica fija, como se dice? And the set pieces and everything. So we start, yes, of course, we start seeing his videos. And personally, I, I know those teams. I play with Tigres seven years in a row uh, the Conca champions, so, so I know how they play, uh, how's the feel, so uh, everything uh, of, of that uh, could help to the team, and we hope to do a very good game, not only going and, and, and having a tight, so going and, and winning and returning to our house and, and have a good game also here. How is the field there, out of curiosity? Eh, Herediano, Saprisa, and Ajualense are very good teams, but the field is so uh, always not so good to play. <laughs> but we have to get used to that. That's what I tell them of my experience. That is going, we don't, we we won't have the possibility to play like we do with the ball in the in the grass in the because it's not so good the field. So uh, I'm telling them it's going to be uh, a a rough game in the field. Uh, team but we have to get used to that and then return with a, a good uh, score so so we can close here with all people yeah when they played at uh herediano in 2019 that field is basically green concrete yeah uh, it's very atlanta play versus herediano in 19 because mm -hmm. we also play versus them and yeah the, the field is uh, muy duro como se dice 
very hard. Very hard. It's not, but we have to get used to it the, the fastest way. They have that, uh, like that ventaja, that advantage of them that they know the field, they train every day there, but we have to quickly get used to it and good, uh, get a good game. Jürgen, como has dicho, y como han dicho tus compañeros, eh, y uno que sabe de, de Heinze sabe que él quiere jugar con el balón al piso, la quiere tocar, la quiere mantener, eh, quiere jugar rápido, pero en este partido contra, en Costa Rica contra la, la Juvencia, pues puede ser que sea un partido de, más de garra, ¿no? De, de aguantar. ¿El equipo está preparado para eso? O sea, ¿se sienten cómodos jugando de esa manera también? Sí, como bien dices, el profe le gusta salir con el balón controlado desde la parte de atrás con, con, con la posesión, pero hay momentos y hay lugares, hay canchas eh, que, que, bueno, no te permiten hacer ese tipo de fútbol, ¿no? Este, trataremos de hacerlo como el profe nos lo pida, si es necesario reventar y jugar al 9 y, y bueno, de ahí hacer el, armar el, el, el ataque, pues se será así, obviamente nuestro estilo y nuestra preferencia es con balón controlado pero como dices, hay veces que el equipo o, o la cancha no te lo permite entonces, hay que acostumbrarnos más rápido lo posible a la cancha Last season was such a weird one for you personally, just because, you know, you didn't play, you didn't have a ton of playing time and at Tigres at the end of your run, and then you got here and it was such a start-stop season. I'm curious, how are you feeling going in uh, the start of this season, and have you set any personal expectations? No, I, I'm very happy that I could do a, a complete preseason with with a new uh, head coach. Uh, I'm very happy, and also I want to. To, to do a very good tournament. I want to help my team to, to reach again the, the playoffs, to, to be champions. So uh, I need to do a, a good tournament. Uh, I have, uh, I don't have, como si se, excuses, excuses. I don't have excuses. I had my, my complete uh, preseason. I feel very good in the, in the fitness. And uh, with the ball, I'm, I'm starting to feel very good. So hopefully I have a very good year. Um, that's good for Atlanta, for me, and for uh, all thinking and, uh, and uh, coming back in the national team. Jurgen, one last question for me. What do you think is the most important element to y'all bouncing back this season and having a good year from last season? Just bouncing back? Okay. Ah, well, uh, I think the most important thing will, will be to have confidence in, in, in each one. Uh, we know that Atlanta has a, a great group. We have to, to, to believe that. And I think we have complete team with Joseph back, with uh, the seven, eight uh, new, uh, new players that came with a new head coach. I think uh, we have all and the expectations are high. And we have to put Atlanta where he deserves in, in the playoffs and, and being champion. So we, we hope to do a, a very good tournament in Conca Champions. We want to be the first MLS club in winning it. Somos el primero? Yeah, yeah to be the first one. And uh, that's very important for us and also the MLS uh, tournament. But Conca Champions for us is very important and, and to be the, the first team. Thank you. La última para mí. Eh, mira, eh, es obvio, cual, todos los jugadores profesionales quieren jugar a la selección. En tu caso, vos querés volver. Eh, el, el hecho de que el Tata Martino tenga sus ojos bien puestos en la MLS, él, es, él ha sido, sobre todo esta semana, ha sido muy público con esa intención. ¿Eso te anima, te motiva? ¿Y, y por qué crees, aunque lo obvio, ¿no? ¿Por qué crees que Martino tenga ese respeto hacia los jugadores mexicanos que están en esta liga. Sí, la verdad es que tengo, tengo mucha ilusión de poder regresar a la selección mexicana. Eh, yo creo que todo jugador sueña con representar a su selección. Como bien dices, el Tata Martino ya estuvo aquí, conoce la liga, conoce la competitividad, conoce el nivel de, de, de la liga que es muy alto. Y, y bueno, lo hemos visto con jugadores que han ido, ¿no? Pulido, Pizarro, Jonathan y, y, y bueno, creo que que él está muy pendiente de, de los partidos y sé que si empiezo a tener regularidad, si empiezo a tener buenos partidos, 
tendré la oportunidad de regresar. Entonces, bueno, trabajar día a día para poder eh, conseguir ese, ese llamado. Pero para mí lo más importante va a ser estar al 100% con mi club Atlanta y, bueno, en un futuro pensar en eso. Listo, Jürgen. Gracias, hermano. No de nada. Suerte. Awesome. All right. With that, I think we'll wrap it up. Thank you, Jürgen, for joining.